let us talk about uh, face recognition today so every day actions are increasingly being handled electronically you know instead of pencil and paper or face to face so this growth in electronic transactions result in a great demand for fast and accurate user identification and authentication so we essentially we will be talking about this user identification and authentication we focus upon this and access codes for building bank accounts computer systems often use pin for identification and security clearances so using the uh, proper pin gains access but the user of the pin is not verified who is using it i can give you my pin and you can use it so when credit and atm cards are lost or stolen an unauthorized user can often come up with correct personal codes face recognition technology may solve this problem since a face is undeniably connected to its owner except in the case of identical twins so what is facial recognition it requires no physical interaction on behalf of the user it is accurate and allows for high enrollment and verification rates it can use your existing hardware infrastructure existing cameras and image capturing devices uh, that will work with no problems so how it started in 1960s the first semi automated system for facial recognition to locate the features such as eyes ear nose and mouth on the photographs were carried out and in 70s goldstein and harman used 21 specific subjective markers such as hair color lip thickness to automate the recognition in 1988 kirby and sirovich used standard linear algebra technique for the face recognition so facial recognition there are two types of comparisons verification and identification verification is the system compares the given individual with who they say they are and give a yes or no decision while in identification the system compares the given individual to all other individuals in the database and gives a rank list of the matches so all identification and authentication technologies operate using the following four stages first is to capture a physical or behavioral sample is captured by the system during enrollment and also in identification or verification process then comes the extraction extraction is unique uh, data is extracted from the sample and a template is created this is a very important part because template creation if it is uh, good then your next process or next stages will work upon and comparison the template is then compared with the new sample the then matching and non matching process the system decides if the features extracted from the new samples are a match or a no match then the implementation of this face recognition technology this also involves certain stages like imaging acquisition image processing a vast science distinct uh, and characteristic location this has to be very distinct distinctive and then template creation and then template matching as i suggested earlier this is a high quality enrollment image you have a very good image it can be really matched while in this case this is a low quality enrollment image now once you have a face these are all the points which are to be searched once computer vision programs uh, detect a face they can extract data about your emotions age and identity as well while anti face the face is actually unrecognizable this is the same individual to several set of art detection detection algorithms so state of art algorithms also they uh, could not recognize identify or verify so let us start with image acquisition this facial scan technology can acquire for faces from almost any static camera or video system that generates images of sufficient good resolution quality this high quality enrollment is essential to eventual verification or identification enrollment images this defines the facial uh, characteristics to be used in all future authentication events then come the image processing the second part the images are then cropped so that the you know to avoid facial image remains and color images are normally converted to black and white in order to facilitate initial comparison based on gray scale characteristics because image processing needs Uh, some sort of images to actually match and first the pres uh, presence of face or face in a scene must be detected once the face is detected because because it has to be a face first of all 
and this is detected it must be localized normalization process may be required to break the dimensions of the live facial sample in alignment with one on that template then again uh, the third stage is distinctive characteristic location all facial scan system attempt to match visible facial features in a similar fashion uh, to the way people recognize one another like me and you the features most often utilized in facial scan system are those least likely to change sufficiently over a time like upper ridges of the eye sockets areas around cheekbones sides of the mouth nose shape and the position of major features related to each other so behavioral changes such as alteration of hairstyles changes in makeup going or shaving facial hairs adding or removing your eyeglasses are behaviors that impact the ability of facial scan system to locate distinctive features facial uh, scan systems are developing to the point where they can overcome such variables so these are the things which are very important as far as your uh, changes and non changes are concerned so after this stage we have uh, some camp uh, this template creation you have a camera you take the image uh, these are the static image repository these are the template generation on your local pc or devices these are the codes these are the central template databases and here we have enrollment template storage biometric matching and communication decision to local or central application these are the scanners start reading geometry of face and plotting features on a grid this is how your 2d facial scanners record identities and these are the points these points are transferred to a database as an algorithm of numbers these numbers and comparison can be made quickly by a computer program and once a match is found an identity can be verified so enrollment templates are normally created from multiplicity of processed facial images these templates can vary in size from you know 100 bytes to, to you know depends on the vendors actually so i will not point out the uh, size so this template is by far the largest among technologies considered uh, physiological biometrics 3k and larger templates are normally associated with behavioral biometrics like your glasses and your hairs etc then comes the template matching so it compares match templates against enrollment templates so series of images acquired and scored against enrollment so that user attempting one is to one verification within a facial scan system may have 10 to 20 match attempt to uh, that takes place within one to two seconds or, or, or less than that so facial scan is not as effective as finger scan or iris scan i'm not denying it but facial scan is a very strong technology in identifying a single individual form of large database of this facial scan a number of potential matches are generally returned after large scale facial scan identification searches because there are so many things so many points there is just not one image uh, processing aspect so exactly how facial recognition system works facial recognition software is based on ability to first recognize faces which is a technological fear in itself. So if you look at the mirror, you can see that your face has certain distinguished uh, landmarks. It can be distinguished from any other person. Even the identical twins may have certain things which are different. So these are the peaks and valleys that makes up the different facial features. So this uh, visual nordics uh, define these landmarks as nodal points. This is a very important aspect as far as facial recognition concerned. There are about 80 nodal points on a human face. 80 nodal points. Here are some uh, nodal points. If you have any software, then you can see that this is between the eyes, width of the nose, depth of your eye socket, cheekbones, jawline, chin. They are all the nodal points. Then what does a software does? Because there are software of facial recognition and ultimately there has to be software which, which will automate things. So detection when the system is attached to a video surveillance system, a recognition software searches the field of view of a video camera for faces. And if there are faces in the view, it is detected within a fraction of a second. A multi-scale algorithm, this algorithm is used to search faces in lower resolution. This system switches to a higher resolution search only after a head-like shape is detected. Then the alignment is done. When the face is detected, the system determines the head's position, size and pose. A face needs to be turned at least uh, some degree 
for 35 degrees towards the camera for the system to register it. Then comes the normalization. The image of the head is scaled, rotated so that it can be registered and mapped into a appropriate size and pose. And image processing people, remote sensing people might be knowing how image is you know, normalized. So normalization is performed regardless of the head duration and distance from the camera. And light does not impact the normalization process. Then comes the representation. Now the system translates the facial data into a unique code. There is a unique code. This coding process allows the user uh, an easier comparison of newly acquired facial data to stored facial data. Then comes the matching part. The newly acquired facial data is compared to the stored data and ideally it is linked to at least one stored facial representation. So the system maps the faces and creates a face print and a unique number numerical code for that face. Once the system has stored a face print, it can compare it with thousands and millions of face prints stored in the database. Uh, this is uh, face print is stored in some byte file. I'm not pointing it out because different software to use different formats. So this is how it works. You have right lens capture, face images. You have face detection. Then face this face detection uh, gives you uh, some you know template extraction and matching. This is left lens, right lens. If you have two lens camera, and this is a dimensional integration analysis. In this template extraction matching is done, this is accepted or detected. For example, if um, you know a police adopter gadget that can match a face or a iris against criminal databases, this is your uh, iris recognition as it was uh, done, and this is the facial recognition. So, this in iris, officer holds a device which attracts uh, to iPhone or any other system a few inches from a system suspect eye, it takes a photo. And the system analyzes uh, some 235 features in the iris, which is unique identifier akin to a fingerprint. So the system looks for a match in a database of criminal records. While in facial recognition, officer uses this camera to snap a photo from a distance of 2 to 5 feet. So based on technology from uh, various companies, the system analyzes about 130 distinguishing points on the face, such as these. Uh, this is between eyes and nose and system these uh, scans database of uh, criminal records looking for a likely match What are the strengths it has the ability to leverage existing image acquisition equipment It can search against static images such as driver license photographs And is the only biometric able to operate without user cooperation if somebody says I don't want to put my uh, uh, um, Finger or I don't want to have this iris recognition Then this is the best option so convenient, social acceptability, easy to use, inexpensive technique for identification once that technique has been developed. Certain weaknesses are also there, changes in acquisition environment reduce matching accuracy, changes in physiological characteristics reduces the matching accuracy. It has a potential for pri this privacy abuse due to non-cooperative enrollment and identification capabilities. So problem with false rejection when people change their hair, style, grow, shape, beard or wear glasses and of course identical twin is a problem. Applications, various applications, displacement of a pin, physical tokens, no need for human assistance for identification, uh, prison visitor systems, border control, voting system, computer security, banking, um, physical access and control of buildings and areas etc. Et These are only few applications, there are a vast number of applications. So in conclusion, factors such as environmental changes and mind changes in the appearance impact technology to a greater degree that may ex uh, expect, but for implementations where the biometric system must verify and identify user reliably over time, facial scan can be very difficult but not impossible technology to implement successfully. And one point I would really like to highlight that when the user is not cooperative, this is the best and you must use it. And the next, uh, in the next era is only about face recognition as more and more strong algorithms are being surfaced out. Thank you so much. Take care.